I think we've always said money on bad website builders. They promise you it's gonna be simple and easy to build your website, but once you try it, you realize it's not exactly what you thought. So I've spent hundreds of hours testing out website builders so you don't have to. Wix, WordPress, Shopify, Squarespace, and some newcomers to the game that you've probably never heard about. In my eight years of YouTube, I've literally tested out every website builder. In fact, I have tutorials on every website builder in the industry, and I'll put these tutorials in the video description if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use these page builders. Plus, with the addition of AI, many of these website builders have added AI integrations, making it easier to make a website. My name is Daryl Wilson, and today I'll be breaking down the best website builders that are actually easy to use. So whether you're a noob with page builders or a complete pro, there is a builder for pretty much everyone out there. Now, there's links to all of these builders in the video description, just in case you want to check them out. With that said, let's dive into it. First up, we have the Hostinger AI Builder. Hostinger introduced their AI Builder a few months ago, and now it's become one of the most mainstream AI tools out there. When first using the Hostinger AI, it'll ask you to enter in your business name and enter in a brief description. I made a video about this builder and you can always use ChatGPT to create some very descriptive prompts. So I'll go ahead and leave that video in the video description. And once you enter in your prompt, bam, you'll get a really clean looking website. The website makes perfect sense. It has all the required sections a normal website should have and everything about the builder works really well on top of that. Once you generate your AI websites, you can also adjust the color palette on the right side to get that color palette you were trying to accomplish. You can also ask the hosting or AI to recreate the website again, just in case you didn't get the right website. Once you pick the layout and adjust your color palette, you'll just click on continue and jump right into the editing sequence. And designing the website with hosting your AI is actually quite simple. All you gotta do is click on an add section, and here you can add a section to the existing AI generated websites. You can also generate new sections with AI. In my honest experience, I feel like this didn't work too well compared to generating the entire layout because it doesn't always give you what you want. And I think choosing from their pre-made sections will save you a lot of time and hassle. If you want to adjust any element on your website, you can click on it and make any adjustment that you want. You can add or delete elements, add or delete sections, and customize it to your liking. Now, what's also unique about the Hostinger AI Builder is you can ask it to create an e-commerce website and the Hostinger AI will fully integrate a shopping cart onto your new store. Hostinger also integrated new email marketing tools to sync up with your store to send emails based off your customer's interaction with your store. This includes orders, contact forms, and appointments. In order to use the AI tool for Hostinger, you'll need to purchase the premium plan, but that's only three bucks a month and you can generate up to 25 AI generated websites. Our coupon code Daryl10 will give you an additional 10% off any of the hosting plans, no matter how long you choose. So I would use the Hostinger Builder if you're looking to build a simple website, an e-commerce website, or just a website that allows appointments. However, the only drawback is sometimes I feel like the AI generated websites might look a little too similar to their previous versions. Next up, we have one of the newer builders out there called Lovable. Now this platform isn't just for traditional websites. You can use it to make websites with functions. You can create plugins or even applications using this platform. Now this is where things get really interesting. You can literally make a website as you describe it with specific features and functions using this platform. For example, you can ask this tool to create a complete AI generated website for barbershops. Of course, being descriptive about the colors, the fonts, the style, and the images are very important with these kinds of tools. Then Lovable will generate a quick AI website based on what you entered. So let's say you wanted to add a booking feature on your your website. You can ask the AI to generate you a complete booking form and it will integrate a booking form on your websites. You can turn your website into a TOS generator, an online calculator, an online mortgage calculator websites, or anything you can virtually think of. Another interesting feature about Lovable is you can make your work public and users can take your work, remix it, and edit it to exactly how to fit their company culture. In fact, you can also remix other people's applications, tools, or anything that they're working on. You can take over it and publish it right as your own. Now, in order to use the pro plan and add in custom domains, you'll need to pay about 25 bucks a month, but that's pretty fair with the capabilities it gives you. Now, I would say if you wanna build a website like this, it's really only geared for advanced prompt engineers like myself. There's a lot of prompts that you're gonna to have to enter to get exactly what you want if you wanna go this route. Now, with these kind of platforms, there's a lot of pros, but there's also a lot of cons. The pro is, is that you can actually expand your website to virtually anything that you can possibly think of. Plus you can also add onto your website. So if you created a booking form, you can like keep adding onto your booking form and make any customizations that you want to your booking form to make it as complex as you can possibly think of. But there is also a lot of cons. You're gonna have to enter in a lot of prompts to get exactly what you want and you'll discover that over time. So who's lovable for? Well, if you want a basic website with not a lot of features, just something for your business, it's definitely for the average user. If you are a developer and you want to really push the limit and create a really extendable AI website, this is the platform to go with. 
Next up, the Wix Builder. Wix is well known in the game. It's been in the web design industry for years. And now with its new AI builders, it's worth taking a look at. When you first start with Wix, the AI editor brings you to a page. You'll have to answer a series of questions. They're not too difficult, like what's the name of your business, your target audience, and what are your goals? Depending on how extensive your answers will be, Wix will install a few apps in order to accommodate your needs. At times, I feel like Wix asks too many questions, but I guess that's better than not asking enough, right? Once you've answered enough questions, you'll then click on Generate, and Wix will now generate you a new website. Now, the strange part is, once you generate your website, they actually bring you back to your dashboard, and here they want you to connect a custom domain. This doesn't make a lot of sense, and they should probably redirect you to design your website. So at the bottom left, you'll go to Design Websites, and then click on AI Tools and Design Your Websites. Now the first site Wix generated for us wasn't that great. It was a bit generic, but after the second and third try, it really improved the design of our websites. We had a really unique landing page with a project section and a lot more. Now you can launch your website completely for free and use the free version of Wix. But just note, you'll have a very weird looking domain with your website that shows Wix in the domain address. And you'll also have this really ugly banner here at the top. So if you want to get rid of the banner and add a custom domain, then you'll need to upgrade to the premium plan. This will remove all the ads and add a custom domain to your new websites. So once you select your AI website, you can now use the AI to generate sections. Now I've used a lot of tools and let me explain how this works. Now Wix already offers a variety of sections like the contact, about us, testimonials, and client blocks that you can easily import on your websites. You can also let the AI do this, but what I've discovered is that they just pick a random block and slap it on your website. So it's not really AI. However, the building experience with Wix is quite simple and doesn't get much easier. You can simply take a block, drag it in, edit it, and you're good to go. You can also use Wix to build an e-commerce website, a blog, and even a food ordering website, which was actually one of the newest features Wix released. However, if you do plan to build an e-commerce website, you'll need to go with the business planner better. This gives you access to the automated sales tax and a few other e-commerce perks. So I would use Wix if you're brand new to websites and you don't wanna to have to deal with like a lot of complex options. However, if you're looking to build a website with a lot of features and functions, Wix might not be the best builder for you. Next up, we have one of my favorites, WordPress. Many of you watching this video probably heard about WordPress at some point. It is literally the biggest CMS platform on this entire list. So many people ask me, why is WordPress so popular? Is it because of a specific WordPress theme or a specific page builder? Nope, it's just because of the diversity. With WordPress, there's virtually something for everyone. If you're a brand new beginner and like to build a basic website, they got that. If you're a developer and you want something more advanced, they got that as well. Now, in order to install WordPress, you need to do it through a hosting company. If you visit the official wordpress.org website, they actually recommend installing WordPress through a hosting company because it's just a lot easier to do. You can install WordPress with virtually any web hosting company out there. I personally recommend Hostinger. They have the easiest setup with WordPress, they're cheap, and you can have a WordPress website running in just a few minutes. Now here's where everything goes wrong. When you first install WordPress, many users get frustrated because there's really no onboarding process. They just put you on this welcome dashboard and that's it. They show you this really broken website and then from there, you don't know where to go. WordPress works with two main features, themes and plugins. Themes are essentially the style and the core of your websites. Every theme offers a different look and style for your websites. You can install these on the back end of WordPress completely for free. Next, we have plugins. Think of plugins like applications on your smartphone. There's an app for everything. There's an app for a contact form, e-commerce integrations, page builder, and also Google Analytics. Today, this is how most things work with WordPress. You first install a WordPress theme, then you install a starter plugin in order to access the templates. Now, a majority of these templates that are used by these WordPress themes are used by a page builder called Elementor. Elementor is a very simple drag and drop builder that combines the simplicity of making websites for beginners, but go as far as being a developer tool for developers. Now, the Solve theme comes with more than 100 beautiful free templates for your website, and they're all ready to go. And they all work with the Elementor page builder. All you do is click on the design, import your websites, and bam, you have a brand new website. Next, all you do is design the website, drag in elements, add sections, drag and drop elements, and you're good to go. Now, I will admit, there is a slight learning curve with Elementor. If you have time and you want to learn how to use Elementor, I'll leave a tutorial for this builder in the video description. So WordPress is ideal for users who want a basic website, but with also plans to maybe extend the features and functions of their website later. However, keep this in mind. A lot of these developers like Elementor and also some of these theme developers, they're constantly adding in new features and also changing the UI of their products, which actually is a good thing. However, if you're not using your website a lot and then you take a break for like three months and come back, it might be frustrating that you come back to something that you're not familiar with. You'll have to relearn all the features and everything that they added, which could be frustrating for some people. So if you make a website and you don't plan on like editing it for the next few months, you might not want to use WordPress. However, if you are on your website a lot and you're constantly adding in stuff, you might appreciate the new updates and features that they come with. Next up, Squarespace. 
Squarespace has been in the industry for quite some time. You can use Squarespace to make a basic website, blog, or e-commerce website. The good thing is you can sign up with Squarespace and get a two week free trial and get all the features. Now the AI Builder with Squarespace works a little different. When you first start, it asks what kind of website you want. Then you pick from a selection. Then it asks about the features and what do you specifically want for your websites. Now based off your prompt and what you ask it for, it'll install specific apps, depending on what you select. So I just put something like a contact form and get appointments. Next, it'll ask you about your site title and also the identity of your websites. This helps the AI get a better understanding about your company culture. Once you go through that setup process, it'll then bring you to your homepage. Now for every section, you can select and add a new section to that existing section. You first start by adding in a section and you can pick different layouts for each specific section. You can also add a variety of different sections to your page. Once you're done editing, you'll click on next and then you can add a different page to your website like the home, the contact, and a few other pages. Lastly, you'll go ahead and select a color palette. This essentially allows you to pick from a specific color palette for your entire layout. The AI does give you some recommended suggestions based off what you pick, so that's always helpful. Once you click on finish, your new website will be generated in just a few seconds. Besides the basic Squarespace options, they also offer built-in features like SEO integrations, membership courses, e-commerce integrations, and also analytics about how your website was found, from which country, and even the traffic sources. Now, Squarespace will give you a dummy domain for up to two weeks on your free trial. If you want to upgrade and get a custom domain and make your website live with a real domain, you'll need to purchase at least a personal plan or better. I do recommend to go with their business plan to get started with because you'll get access to their premium migrations, e-commerce capabilities, and a few other features if you plan to build a full-on e-commerce website. They also have this unique feature called memberships. This allows users to sell your own courses where you can pay to have users get access to your content. Now there's one drawback with this builder. It's not a bad builder, but I personally don't like the way it works. It works with a technique called absolute positioning. This is where you simply drag and drop elements onto the page and there's no really columns to work with. I do love columns because it makes things a lot easier and structured for the average user. I would say Squarespace is suitable for beginners who want to make a simple website or for those users who want a simple website but also want to sell courses. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't like the way the Squarespace Builder works. I just feel like it's like kind of like too free. It needs to be a little bit more structured for users. The fact that you can just put things anywhere probably isn't the best for, you know, mobile responsiveness. Now, real quick, just 30 seconds. If you run a business or an online store and you're not using OmniSend, you're doing email marketing the hard way. OmniSend gives you pre-built automation flows that handle everything, like new subscribers, welcome emails, abandoned cart emails, product recommendations, all on autopilot. It's really simple. You just pick a template, customize it, and boom, you're live. OmniSend will then send a sequence of emails automatically over a period of time to your favorite customers. It also connects with all major CMSs like Shopify, Wix, and WordPress. I've used many email tools and nothing comes close to the ease of use with OmniSend and I personally use it on my e-commerce website. It's powerful, beginner friendly, and yes, they have a free version. I'll leave a discount and a link to OmniSend in the video description in case you wanna check it out. With that said, let's jump back to the video. Next up, we have Shopify. If your primary goal is to run an online store, Shopify is the gold standard. It's a fully hosted e-commerce platform built from the ground up for selling products. You get everything in one dashboard, product management, order processing, customer accounts, shipping integrations, and built-in analytics. Shopify also has a large ecosystem of themes and apps that are optimized for conversions and mobile responsiveness right out of the box. Now, the great news about Shopify is you can get three months of Shopify for just a dollar if you use our link in the video description. Now, when starting a store with Shopify, it's really simple. When you first sign up and make an account, it'll bring you to a Shopify dashboard. Here's where you can access orders, adjust your settings for your store, switch themes, and upgrade your plan. Now, in order to customize your website, all you need to do is go to the online store, click on view store, and here you can turn on the page builder for your Shopify store. Now, the page builder works in a really simple way. You can simply add in sections, and Shopify has a huge library of pre-made sections that you can easily import on your store. You then click on a section that you want to import. You can then change the text, add an image, and you're good to go. I would say the Shopify builder is one of the easiest to use. The backend of Shopify is pretty straightforward. If you click on products, It'll give you a rundown of all your products. You can also view the analytics to see how many people are visiting your store and how many sales you made and so on and so forth. There's also a huge free app market where you can install upsells, email marketing tools, and even dropshipping apps. The pricing with Shopify varies depending on what you need. You can always go with a basic plan where you can sign up for three months for just a dollar, then pay something like 20 bucks a month. Now, if your store starts managing more sales, then it might make sense to upgrade to the pro or the advanced plan. You'll also get cheaper credit card rates and a few other perks. 
I would say the Shopify Builder is probably one of the easiest to use on this list. It doesn't give you as much flexibility as something like WordPress and Elementor, but if you want like a simple online store, it'll work just fine. So I would say Shopify is for anyone who wants to start an e-commerce website, whether you're a beginner or an expert. The only drawback with Shopify, I would say, is some of the themes can be quite expensive. I mean, some of those themes are like $400. Another thing that I don't like about Shopify is while the apps are great and they have plenty of great free apps, some of these apps are priced really highly. I mean, some of these apps on average price around $30 to $50 a month. And if you have like four or five apps running on your store, things can get quite expensive. So if you are getting started out with Shopify and you're a new user, just go easy on the apps. Next up, we have the 10 Web AI Builder. Now this is an AI builder that I didn't see many people talking about, but I would say it's one of the biggest surprises. 10Web has been around for a long time, so it's no surprise they developed a pretty good AI builder. Now what's unique about the 10Web AI builder is that it integrates with WordPress and the Elementor Pro version. What's even better is you don't need to even purchase the Pro plan in order to use Elementor Pro. When you first go to the 10Web AI builder, you can give a descriptive of the website you want to build. Once you do this, 10Web will analyze your inputs and start designing your AI websites. Once you enter in the prompt, you then get further customization options. If you click on the plus icon, you can add in additional sections just in case you want your website very robust. You can also do this for pages like the About Us page, the Services page, Portfolio page, and a few other pages. Once you pick the pages and the sections, you'll then click on Next. You can always adjust your fonts and color scheme, and once you're done, you'll click on Generate. Now here's the thing, in order to actually design and customize your AI website, you need to have a paid account with 10Web. However, you can at least see the website it first generated for you. Now there's something to know about this builder. It makes surprisingly good websites. What's even better is 10Web will generate the AI website for you using the pro elements for the Elementor page builder. I would say this is probably the best looking website that was created with AI in the market. What's really interesting about this AI is that it uses the Elementor Pro elements. It also uses the correct modules and it utilizes the Flexbox, which I thought was very interesting. What's also interesting is if you click on add section, you can also add other sections to your website just by clicking on it, or you can generate new specific sections for your website using the AI. I would say this AI builder surprised me. I thought it was gonna be complete garbage, but it's actually really good. Next, let's look at the pricing. Now, in order to access the 10 Web Builder, you'll need to purchase at least the AI Starter Plan in order to get access to the 10 Web AI Builder. Now, I'm not sure why the check marks are missing on their website, but you just need to purchase the base plan in order to get access to the AI Builder. So the only downside with 10 Web is I think it might be a little pricey, right? So the prices that I showed you earlier, that's per website. So for every additional website you want to add, you're going to have to pay an additional cost. However, 10 Web has always had great speed and uptime. So even though it might be expensive, you still can't go wrong with this web host. So I would say the 10 Web AI Builder fits pretty much everyone. If you want to make like a basic website, it'll do just fine. If you are a developer and you want to make something very complex, you can do that because it's using Elementor Pro. So let me break this down for you and explain to you what kind of website builder I would use if I was building a website right now. Now, if you're a complete beginner with websites and want something quick and simple, but not too much headache, I would definitely go with either the hosting or AI builder, Wix or Squarespace. I personally think hosting or AI is the best choice. Hostinger is the easiest to get started with. You can create multiple domains from one place and not have to pay an additional fee. It also includes free email marketing for appointments, e-commerce integrations, all included in the plan. If you're looking to create a website but want a little bit more than just a basic website, I would definitely go with WordPress using Elementor. WordPress offers the most customization for any website versus any other platform. You can turn your website into a booking website, multi-vendor e-commerce website, a real estate website with MLS integration, or a classified ad website by just installing a few plugins. It also comes with the best design templates. The Solve theme offers more than 100 free templates to choose from that look fantastic, and they all work with Elementor. Now, if you're looking to build an e-commerce website, I would hands down go with Shopify. Shopify makes things simple when using e-commerce. There's a lot of unexpected things that you're gonna come across that you probably never thought about when building a store, and Shopify usually covers all those things such as upsells, downsells, email marketing, purchase receipts, product analytics, and reports. Now, if you're a developer looking for a page builder, you can go with WordPress and Elementor. Elementor is constantly adding in new features, developer tools, and simplifying the page building process. And lastly, we have Lovable. If you wanna jump on the AI bandwagon and create a website specifically using AI prompts, this is your choice. I think in the future, you're gonna see more of these platforms pop up, making prompts easier to make websites with. And if you don't care about money and you want a really nice looking website, you can't go wrong with a 10 web AI builder. All right, party people, thank you all for watching this video. And let me know which page builder that you like or you think you're going with in the video description. Also, if you have any questions for me about page builders or WordPress or whatever, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to all of your comments. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people later.